This is our chance. President Ellis is meeting with Lau at Camp White Oak. You're not cleared to take out the President, but we do have permission to deal with Lau. She's our top priority. We expect her to be landing soon. Check for a present at the drop site. Coop and Rhodes cooked a little something up for you. Rogue striker drone detected. Hello there guys, it's Peaceful Panda from the future here. Played the mission, but the voiceover didn't record because NVIDIA GeForce had selected the wrong microphone. Which kind of sucks because I was kind of responding to some of the things that happened in this mission. But for now I'm gonna let it play out without my commentary. You'll see the things that happened, the audio recordings, the, the echoes and the things that happened during the mission. I'll add the audio recordings at the end, the four for Fei Lao. So yeah, at the end I'll, I'll give a, a short reaction and I think most of what you'll see from me is gonna be in the third part of the Black Tusk video series. So yeah, I'll talk to you at the end of the video. Striker drone detected. Probably taking loud to the meet. Better hurry. Don't want to be late.
An agent is no longer in your group. EMP jammer detected nearby. Agent, be careful around those EMPs. Assistance needed. System curtailed. EMP jammer deployed. Mount landing now. You want an escort to meet her? I'll just stay here for the moment. Copy that. I'll tell Otto to meet you at the cabin. Sounds like Ellis moved out of the main lodge. That's good for us. You're closer to the cabin. Just landed. I'm on my way to the cabin now, sir. I've been expecting you. I've heard great things. Wish I could say the same. But you can't believe everything you hear. <laughs> We've got a lot of work to do. Looking forward to it, sir. Inbound on your location. Lyle, this is Wilson. Get to the cabin. I'll handle the hostiles. Take care of the president. I will.
I know you're there. Silent, but always listening. It's over. Alice is dead. You don't have to do this. You can let me go. What the fuck? Is she serious? Is it... Is he... dead? Identification confirmed. President Andrew Ellis. Vital signs, zero. Status, ceased. Lau's fucking lost it. We have to neutralize her. Echo, nearby. Meeting adjourned, Mr. President. It's done. Get her. You've got to take her out before she escapes. Agent incapacitated. 
Fuck! Liftoff sequence has reset. Restarting it now. What happens when the entire chain of command is gone? Guess we'll find out. Agent, come back to base. We need to regroup. This is our chance to shape history. I couldn't agree more, Mr. President. You said it yourself. Somebody has to step up. I'm willing to take on that challenge. If we're going to get this country back on track, we have to be willing to do things that won't be... Popular. I know that you and Schaefer had a rather contentious relationship. I hope our collaboration will be more efficient. I look forward to meeting you in person. That can be arranged. Excellent. See you soon, Mr. President. <sighs> what an asshole. How's it feel? Comfortable. Lacks personality, though. Easier to spot a friendly in the field. The uniform doesn't guarantee you're a friendly. Fair enough. I like your style, Lau. No bullshit. I think you'll fit in well here. Me too. Do I get to build my team? Are you testing me out with an established squad? Are you worried about getting hazed? I've had to break into boys' clubs before. 
I know how you like to test people. Finish this off, and we'll talk about building your own squad. Copy that. Hey, Roy. This is hard. For me. This is probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do. You trusted me, and I loved you for that. It broke my heart having to keep secrets like this from you, but I knew... I knew if I told you what I was planning, you would try to stop me. And if you tried to stop me, there was no way I could have gone through with any of it. There's no way I could have interrogated Alicia, or met Schaefer, or gone with him. But I had to do this, Roy. I had to. We were losing. We lost the authority. We lost the trust of the people we were trying to protect. Without trust, we have nothing. It doesn't matter how many good or bad things we do if no one trusts you to get the job done. And with Schaefer and Ellis, we lost the legitimacy. We lost the ability to say we are on mission. Hell, the only one who agreed we were still on mission was Isaac. I knew what I had to do. All I needed was access, and I couldn't get that unless I joined them, or at least unless I could make them believe I joined them. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you why. I'm sorry I had to break your trust like that. But I hope, I, I pray, you'll forgive me someday. If you don't, I might have to come haunt your ass until you do. Plow out. I know, you hate me. You never trusted me. You probably never liked me and only moderately tolerated me. It's okay. That's okay. We didn't have to be friends. And I know you probably think I'm a bitch, though you would never actually say that. That's my face, at least. I think the reason we never really got along is we're too similar. We're stubborn. We care too much. And frankly, we're both pretty guarded people. We've both lost people. And we didn't deal with that as well as we could have, I guess, but I hope that when I'm done, you'll understand why I did what I had to do. I don't expect you to agree with it, but I hope you understand. I'm not sorry it went down like this, but I'm sorry I couldn't tell you why. Okay, welcome back to the end of the video. Thanks to you guys that stuck around. Uh, I, I want to respond a little because, of course, my uh, live commentary didn't pan out. So here we go. Lau killing President Ellis, of course, that was leaked a long time ago. So we kind of knew, but it's still kind of a, a big deal because so far we couldn't kill Ellis because he's the president and that would make us a rogue agency because the president is the only one the division has to report to. Yeah, so that's, that's pretty crazy, but nothing too weird. Other than that, with them having announced a new Star Wars game and not working on Division anymore, I kind of expected to them answer all the questions and have some more elaborate content, but of course that didn't happen. To be fair, it wasn't such a surprise because all the seasons up until now were kind of disappointing in lack of content and story. One weird thing is I saw a tweet that they might do a third and a fourth year content for the Division, which I'm, I'm kind of disappointed with because on the one hand I would like to have more content for this game, but I would like to have them do that proper but on the other hand but on the other hand i don't think that they have the resources time and the team necessary to do that i mean most of the voice lines in this and some of the audio recordings were actually recycled from earlier president ellis audio recordings if you listen the tone and it's it's really weird in this conversation so they literally recycled the content so far, no questions were answered regarding Natalia Sokolova, what her role is in all this. We know she's the CEO of Black Tusk, but what else? Uh, who are they working for? Who are they working with? What do the hunters have to do with all of this? And what happened to Shaver eventually? Because we know he didn't die. So that's, I'm assuming, all questions that they're going to answer in the same kind of style of drip feed content throughout year three and four, maybe even. And I'm not excited about that. I kind of hate that, actually. So that sucks. Um, for those who have played through it, I don't know if you have to do it once or twice, but you also unlock the Langley reports. I already covered this in an, another video, but of course the weird thing is that they introduced two new characters to us that we haven't heard before. Zara Jeffries, I believe, and Brigadier General Green or something. And it's yeah, it just feels kind of out of place, it's not connected to anything, so yeah. All in all, of course, I'm, I'm very disappointed with how they handled things, but yeah, that's been for the past 
well, I think, is it almost a year now with the season content? Almost, yeah. And of course, so are all of you because barely anyone is playing this game at this point. So yeah, that's it. I'll be uh, including all of this in my third part for the Black Tusk series. So make sure to uh, support me if you want to see that. Because the more support I gain, the more I can do. And you can support me through likes, subscriptions, commenting, and above all, becoming a member for the YouTube channel. But I'll leave that to, uh, to you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye.